Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin, and tonight I'm going to share with you a Burmese 15 chat from 1986. I use the standard catalog of world paper money, numista.com, the bank notebook, and Wikipedia to get some additional information about this bank note and about the man who is depicted on this bank note. If you haven't liked or subscribed to any of my videos yet, please do so now. All right, let's get started. This banknote measures 149 by 71 millimeters, and the substrate on which this note is printed on is simply paper. There is a predominant green, blue, and gray color scheme on this note, although you can see there's some oranges and some reds that are mixed in there. Um, the catalog numbers for this banknote are PIC62, and the bank notebook calls this a B1007. The printer of this note is WAZI, that's W-A-Z-I. I I do not know if that is an acronym or if that is what the, these printing works are called. This note was introduced on August 1st of 1986. Um, the security notes or the security features of this bank note are as follows. A watermark appears here to the left of Aung San and it's of Aung San, so you have a double face right there. There are UV responsive fibers Whenever this uh, note is held to a black light, you can see some glowing. And there are red and blue silk fibers embedded in the paper. There is a security thread that can be found right here that is in, um, that contains Burmese text, although you'll have to take my word on that because this man does not read Burmese. There is a lot of lathe work that figures into the background design, and that goes in with the banknotes of this time. And... Actually, of an earlier generation, that lathe work was oftentimes enough to discourage counterfeiting. If you haven't decided to like or subscribe to my channel, please think about doing so now and push the subscribe button. Let's get into some details about Aung San, who is depicted on the face of this note. He was actually born as Tin Lin and lived from 1915 to 1947. He was born on the 13th of February in 1915 and died July 19th, 1947. So that made him about 32 when he died. And um, the man, the man has, has done more in his short life than I seem to have been able to have done here living in Oklahoma. But there you go. I also have not been assassinated or buried in a martyr's mausoleum, which is what happened with Aung San here. He was a student leader, a political leader, and he was a strong agitator for Burmese for the Burmese, or I'm sorry, Burma for the Burmese. In World War II, he saw an opportunity to actively seek Burmese independence, and so he worked closely with the Japanese to overthrow the British presence in his country. And with the help of the Japanese, independence was achieved on August 1st, 1943, which could explain why this note bearing his picture was released on August 1st of 1986. Aung San became increasingly skeptical of the Japanese, and um, in March of 1944, he actually led troops against the Japanese. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't uh, already decided to do so. His assassination was unfortunate, but it also was the assassination of eight other Burmese political leaders. This had problems with leadership that I'm sure Burma is still struggling with to this day. Aung San is well thought throughout, or is well thought of in his country, and is considered to be the architect of modern Burma. His mausoleum that he was buried in when he was assassinated was destroyed by a bomb on the 9th of October 1983 when North Korean agents attempted to assassinate the South Korean president Chun Doo Won on his visit to Burma. Um, as popular as Aung San is with the people, the present military regime and the preceding military regime have unsuccessfully tried to eradicate his memory. And it is his daughter that is prominent um, and has been placed in house arrest by the military uh, government. So let's go ahead and let's turn this note over and take a look on the other side. Just as lovely as the first side. Here we have a seated puppet of Prince Min Tar, who is a character from Burmese theater. And uh, you can see here 
15 in Western digits and 15 in Burmese digits. Here it is 15 again. Here's 15 chat spelled out. Union of Burma Bank right here. So it's a combination of, of culture on this note. And rumor has it that General Ne Win, who was behind, uh, that it was General Ne Win who decided on this choice of an odd denomination. He also issued a 35, a 70, I think a 90. So, I mean, some weird denominations came out in this time period. Um, and while people attribute this odd number 15 to Ne Win, it could just have been a kiss up bank official who wanted to impress General Ne Win, who was somewhat superstitious and a numerologist. Okay, why would collectors be interested in collecting this banknote? Not only does it have an odd denomination, it has an assassinated world leader. It has a military uniform. It has puppets, wood carvings, and it has a neat watermark. This banknote exists as a specimen, and at the time I did my research for this note, there was at least nine people that wanted to exchange it on numista.com. Please like and subscribe and enjoy my other 200 plus videos on my channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Please feel free to comment and cuss or discuss. Correct my pronunciation. I always appreciate that. <coughs> and let me know what other banknotes you would like to see on my channel. This is Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.